Let's take a look at some practice test questions, some that are likely to show up on the upcoming quiz for Chapter 1, Section 1. Let's take a look at some multiple choice here. Which of the following is not a basic economic question? What to produce, for whom to produce, when to produce, or how to produce? Yes, the answer is when. This is not a basic economic question. These types of questions show up a lot. You want to be very careful that you read them carefully. Remember, you're looking for the exception. Three of them are correct. One of them is not. And we learned in this section that these are the three questions that modern economies must answer. What to produce, how to produce it, and for whom to produce. Who gets it? Question two here. What is the fundamental problem of economics? It's kind of the what's the fundamental problem of your own personal economics, your family. Do you have enough of everything that you need or want? And so, uh, gosh, we've got a hint here. Huh? It's the only one that's capitalized. Scarcity. Looks like a giveaway there, isn't it? Scarcity, the factors of production, capital, labor, and we learned that that is scarcity is the fundamental problem of economics. Which of the following lists the four factors of production? So we're looking for the one that includes land, labor, capital, and entrepreneurship. Those are the four factors of production. And it looks like here we see that is selection D. Let's look at the ones that are not correct. Wants, no, that's not a factor. Needs, no, this one's close, but no, not scarcity. So D is the only correct answer. Number four, which of the following is not a capital good? Recall that capital goods are those things that are necessary for production. And it could include financial capital, money. It could include tools, buildings tractors, whatever is necessary in order to produce something. So which one of these is not? Let's see, a bulldozer at a construction site, definitely a capital good. An oven at a bakery, the bakery needs the oven to produce products that they can sell. A cash register at a clothing store, that is definitely a capital good, required at all stores in order to keep track of the daily sales. That is a piece of capital equipment. D. A Chester Fried Chicken Meal Deal at our local Jock Supermarket. That is a consumable. It is not a capital, capital good. That is sold directly to the consumer and is consumed within a very short period of time. And a meal deal is not used to produce anything else. Number five. The money used to buy the Chester Fryer at Jock's is best described as Okay, so down at Jock's Supermarket, they've got all that fried chicken and Jojo potatoes. And so you need some piece of equipment, a specialized piece of equipment, to cook that food. It's definitely not land. It's not an entrepreneur. Tony at Jock's is the entrepreneur. It is not labor. That would describe the workers who actually prepare the chicken. And capital. Yes, it is capital equipment because that fryer is used to produce a product that will then be purchased by consumers. Let's take a look at some matching. So you can do this either way. You might notice here that you have five terms, but you have six choices, so one of these will not be used. So however you like to do this, if you want to look at the word scarcity and then go find the definition or look at the definition and then find the term. Either way, I'm going to do it this way. Scarcity, factor of production, no. Basic requirement, no. Dollar value, no. Condition that results, ah, oh, this is starting to sound good. Condition that results from society not having enough resources to produce all the things people would like to have. That sounds very reasonable. Is there anything better? Factor, it's not a factor of production, not a factor of production. Therefore, the best choice is... D. So D is the best choice there. Need. Factor, dollar value, condition, factor. Uh, let's see. Oh, 
a basic requirement for survival. Survival and need. Yes, I need to survive. Definitely B is the best choice. Land. Tools. No. Risk taker. That's entrepreneur. Natural resources like trees and air. Fish in the sea. Not created by humans. Definitely. That best describes land. Capital. Tools, equipment, machinery. That sounds good. Anything else? We know it's a factor of production. Risk takers and entrepreneur. So the best choice here is F. And our last one, gross domestic product. Once again, we talked about this, I believe, in that Quizlet video. Dollar value of all final goods and services and structures produced within a country's borders in a 12-month period. And that's definitely what GDP is, gross domestic product C. So there you go. Feel free to review those. You'll see some questions very similar to those when we take the Chapter 1, Section 1 test coming up here in a few days.